I mean, look, I think it's uh, it's not one versus another. It's likely a combination of factors uh, in this uh, in this uh, unfortunate incident. But I think that ultimately you're going to end up with uh, more details on the better training manuals and communication and potentially a software update. But uh, I don't see it going further than that because I think the, originally the, the systems involved here uh, with the 737 uh, previous generation are almost identical right. uh, to the Max. The only things that are different, obviously, is that there's a different stall protection system here, which obviously comes with some different procedures. Speak to the liability issue, though. Well, that, I think, is still uh, in play here. Obviously, Boeing will work with the Indonesian safety investigators uh, investigators on this uh, situation. Um, uh, clearly, Boeing is covered by uh, these type of events. They've been in this right. uh, business, obviously, for many decades involving accidents. But uh, the 737 is, uh, is, is critical to Boeing's uh, uh, entire investment thesis. It, it provides the majority of their profits, uh, and so right. no question, Boeing will work closely with them. Uh, hey, you know, I, as you've been speaking, we were showing some some really uh, tragic and sad pictures uh, of those uh, that lost their life uh, as a function of all of this, and, and I, I hate to be crass about it, uh, given that we are, we're a business channel and we think about business. Historically, after an accident, um, sometimes you see um, the stock of an airline, or, or not, not just an airline, but, but all, the manufacturer of, of the airplane uh, take a hit. But uh, I know you've studied this over the years. What, what typically happens? Well, I think there's, there's obviously always a knee-jerk reaction. Um, and then, you know, we wait for uh, kind of the, the information flow to come out. Um, people initially will say, well, this comes with bigger, en bigger engines. This aircraft has change the aerodynamics of the aircraft, is that a result of these conditions or was it better training? Um, it's too early uh, to say, but historically, um, unless there's been some ground bake, uh, breaking uh, uh, fault in the design, um, usually uh, we see the, the, you know, the manufacturer recover. Has that ever uh, taken place? Meaning there has been some kind of true design fault that's actually created a real you, a legitimate problem? You'd have to go back to the kind of McDonnell Douglas era uh, mm -hmm. where they had some design changes that they needed to, I think, going back to the uh, horizontal stabilizer that I think there was a following an accident uh, on the West Coast. But I, I, outside of that, uh, I don't remember any. Okay. Uh, Peter Arman of Baird, uh, appreciate uh, you walking us through this this morning.